Today, we're gonna be hitting the thrifts to see if it's really possible to find a beautiful wedding dress on a budget. On average, brides are currently shelling out up to $2,000 for their dress. I'm gonna show you eight dresses that I thrifted for an average cost of just $39 per piece. And I got one dress for only $1. Here she is, the dollar store dress. I'm just kidding, you guys think I'm actually cheap enough to buy clothes from the dollar store? It is half true that this dress was a dollar, but I got it at my swap meet, which is kind of like the Goodwill bins. This veil actually cost more than the entire dress. It fits really well, minus the back not zipping up. But you can tell that somebody put a lot of work into this. It has real boning in the top. And the button detail on the back. Okay, if this is what we're getting for a dollar, then I am excited to see what else we can find. I have seven more dresses to show you, so let's start with the cheapest and work our way up. I mentioned the Goodwill outlet earlier where you dig through these giant bins of clothes and you pay by the pound. I happened to be there one day, which is a very rare occurrence, but this dress was just sitting on top of the bin and so I decided to pull it out and I thought it was really cool. It gave me this kind of Gunny Sacks vintage prairie vibe. And I thought this doesn't really weigh anything. So what's the worst that could happen? Well, I guess the worst thing that happened with this is that it actually fits and fits really well. Check this out. I do kind of feel like I should be churning some butter or out in the fields picking flowers but i mean if this is your vibe the prairie cottagecore vibe then gunny socks ain't got nothing on the goodwill bit this might be the best three dollars that i have ever spent it's pretty easy to dance in too and yes this is actually how i dance the churning butter that's what i call this one the farmer, the scarecrow. I really, really wanted to find an 80s wedding dress because they're just so ridiculous and so over the top and fun. And I was born in the 80s and when I was little, I was completely obsessed with the wedding dress from November Rain. One of my biggest regrets from my actual wedding was not taking bridal portraits, but luckily we're still friends with the people where we got married at Hollywood Forever here in LA. And so for our 10th anniversary, they actually let us go there and take anniversary pictures. And I ended up thrifting a dress that was really similar. Well, my version of the November rain wedding dress, but I digress. I found an 80s wedding dress for this for $10 and the beading on it is just like this crazy Vegas curtain lampshade. And I'm really excited to try this on. Oh my God, is this actually better than the November rain dress? Hang on, hang on, I have an idea. Who did it better? Look at this beaded detail. This is stunning. The only thing is it doesn't zip up on the back. And I'm not a huge fan of this giant bow in the buttocks area. I do manage to keep stepping on the train, but I think in a real wedding, I would have somebody kind of fluffing it for me. Are there fluffers at Wendy? This dress was only $15, and I really liked the kind of minimalist look of it. It reminds me a bit of a 70s slip with the lace trim. It's a bit more ivory than pure white, but I thought that you could go for the sort of bare minimum look, or you could accessorize it and sort of turn it into whatever style that you want, kind of boho, western, cottage core, fairy, sort of whatever you want. So I wanted to pick this one up and see what we could do with it. So here she is by herself. It fits really well, minus the straps being a little bit long. I have it clipped up here in the back, 
But other than that, I just added this cute little headband and I really like this by itself. A simple gown for a simple woman. Or, hang on. Okay, I'm back. Here's a fun way to spice it up, kind of Western boho. I remembered I had this, so I wanted to try this on with it, but I don't know, I kind of like it plain. What do you guys think about this one? I'm not usually one for the big poofy ball gowns, the Cinderella style, but I saw this from across the store and when I went over to look at it, I really liked all the little details on it with the beading and the kind of silver hearts. And so, you know what? I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah. So this one fits, kind of. Enough for me to know why people pick these big ball gowns though. I feel like Cinderella. Oh my God, you guys can call me Cinderella. Where's my glass slipper? Where's my prince? Am I gonna turn into a pumpkin? Be back, going to find my prince. This next dress caught my eye because it's just so well made. All this button detail all over it on the sleeves, on the back, and just the carefully placed lace everywhere. And this like 100 foot long train. There's no tags on it. So I guess it's probably custom made or made to order, but I just could not leave this behind. I have no idea if it's gonna fit me, but it deserves to be appreciated. And it was only $24. This seems to be a common theme today. None of them are zipping up or buttoning up. But luckily, I have a mannequin that this fits to show you what it would actually look like. I did manage to get it on my body, ill-fitting as it may be. It's still a very beautiful dress. I'm not a huge fan of puff sleeves, but I think for like, a Victorian theme, or even almost like a beach theme. These kind of look like seashells. Was it? I'm pretty sure that if you were to Google fairy tale wedding dresses, that this is exactly what would show up. It's very voluminous and poofy, and I don't usually like those kinds of dresses because they're super, super heavy and uncomfortable, but this one was really, really lightweight and airy. If I was getting married again, I would, wait. <laughs> That's not really what I meant. What I meant was if our wedding was happening now, I would 1000% wear this dress. I am obsessed one of the only things is though like the boob cup things or whatever they're called are a bit high or maybe it's just that my boobs are dropping because of gravity and i'm getting to be that age but oh my god This dress was on a wall full of wedding dresses and this one in particular caught my eye because even from down below, I could see that the skirt had this really intricate beading all over it. So I asked them to take it down for me because I couldn't see the price. When they took it down, it was marked at $500. However, this color was 50% off. So I did a little Googling and I was able to find it because it was new with tags. I found the original designer. It retails for like over $2,000. And what really tipped it over the edge is the name of the dress is the Amira dress, which is my best friend's name. And I was on the phone with her when I walked in the store. So I took that as a sign. Here you go. What the... I feel like a princess, which is coincidentally what Amira actually means. So I see what you did there. That's very clever. Check out the beaded detail all over the bodice and on the train. 
I also forgot to mention that I was able to talk them down to only $200, no tax. So I got this dress for like a tenth of the retail price. I definitely think it's safe to say that you can thrift a beautiful wedding dress on a budget. If you like this type of content, I picked out a few more I think you might like. I'll see you next time.